First Circle by the Pat Metheny Group was released in the album First Circle in 1984. It won the Grammy Award in 1985 for Best Jazz Fusion Performance. It was composed by Pat Metheny and Lyle Mays. And in this video, we're gonna get into the music from a kind of an unexpected angle. So we're listening to the guitar interlude, which is based on the famous uh, rhythmical pattern ta 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 ta. It repeats twice when suddenly it's as though a new dimension is opening with a new melody. Now most of the music in first circle is written according to this rhythmical pattern. For the guitar interlude. The phrases of the new melody are coming and going as though they have nothing to do with all the other music that surrounds them. This counterpoint technique used to be popular among church composers in previous centuries. One of the things that church composers like Johann Sebastian Bach used to do was to arrange old chorale melodies in a variety of ways. A much more interesting way to treat a chorale melody was the chorale prelude. In this technique, Bach used to surround a chorale melody with new original music. Listen to the same chorale melody we heard before, this time in a frame of a chorale prelude, part of cantata number 140 by Johann Sebastian Bach.
The choral prelude starts with the original music by Bach, and by the time he's done with the first part, he goes back to the beginning, and this time with the appearance of choral phrases. And this is where it connects to first circle, because when we hear the guitar interlude, we can notice that it is by itself a complete composition without the additional melody. Now, the additional melody behave much like a choral melody. Its phrases are separated from one another, coming and going unexpectedly. <laughs> 